Espas say the 2024 Forum on China-Africa Cooperation no doubt presented yet another great opportunity for Nigeria and indeed Africa to take our developmental strides to the next level. Beyond the elevation of Nigeria to a comprehensive strategic partnership status, as well as the signing of different MOUs at the summit, this engagement by scholars and experts in China-Africa cooperation is to explore ways of ensuring full implementation of the contents of the various agreements entered into at this year's FUCAC in order to maximize the inherent benefits. It's a new window of opportunity you know, that has opened now to Nigeria and Africa, and we should grab it. How we recommend that we should grab it? Public and private institutions and enterprises should expand it to expand their trade and investment. Nigeria's or Africa's strategic importance to Beijing is gradually increasing now. The Belt and Road Initiative, this particular infrastructure project that are coming to Nigeria will provide a quantum of employment opportunities to Nigerians. Then apart from this, the training of resource uh, persons or manpower development in Nigeria, this will further equip quality productivity. The essential duty of rebuilding Nigeria is for Nigerians. But we cannot discount the role of international input. And that is why foreign policy must be designed to bring in concrete and tangible. If foreign policy is not accountable to adding to national aggregate, it is mere foreign tourism. The participation of more states in the Federation in future FOCAC summits to ensure even developmental opportunities for every part of the country, as well as the redesign of the nation's policy instruments to focus on transforming its manufacturing sector, were also advocated at the engagements. The interactive section, which coincided with the Chinese Mid-Autumn Festival, had President Xi's 10 partnership actions to modernization, impact for Nigeria and Africa as its theme. Chukunon Songwa NTN News.